Last week, we did Ricky's game room, and now everybody's been asking. They're like, hey, are you gonna do your game room anytime soon? I think it's been long enough. Ago, I got this done. We had our old game room. It means a lot to me. This this stupid little shed actually means more than most people think because this is where Ricky and I built our original game room, which wasn't exactly what I was hoping it would be. It felt more cluttery. It felt more misplaced. It didn't feel so much like a place I want to hang out. It just felt like a place to put my stuff that almost felt like hoarding at some point because I had so many games of the same copies of things. It was almost no rhyme or reason. So this room and it's more of my place where I'm like most proud of what's in this room as far as like hanging out and just having a place to be in, a place to hang out and play my video games and enjoy my video games after all this time that my friend Joe and I spent a lot of money and a lot of time putting this place together. So now you guys can check it out in its final form. All right, so first things first, I wanted to make this room completely enjoyable to hang out in, to be in, not just to be like, oh, I have video games, I promise. No, this is a place that I hang out and I, I live pretty much in here during my work week as well, especially. So let's start over here. First thing when you walk into the left, I got a futon. I got this futon because obviously people need a place to sit. There's not a TV in here per se for people to sit and watch, but when people get tired, we got the futon. We even got some cup holders right here. I just knocked down my light. <laughs> and now that I picked the light back up, I got this light, it's an accent light. I think I wanna buy another one to fill up this, this black space, this black void. Uh, basically what is back here, I had to still make this somewhat functional for my family. We have some storage. So I put up some, some piping, some like gas pipes or stuff like that. Hung up some curtains and there's just some storage back here. Christmas decorations, stuff like that really do a, keep the family functional too as well because it can't be all about me, even though it should be about me because I'm the ruler of the household. Right, honey? Mm -hmm. That's a definite no. All right, so the next thing is probably either my favorite thing in the room or my second favorite thing in the room. I'm not really sure I go back and forth all the time. And this was the Nintendo Switch kiosk that Elliot from Game Tower gifted me and then I gave him a $100 donation, but you don't have to do that. Can I make because I know it's a weird time, a $100 donation to your store. Dude, you're sweating, dude. Look at that. <laughs> Can I make a $100 donation? It, you, you don't have to. You but don't I, have to. I, if you're gonna give this to me, and it's not money, uh, I figured the best I could do is give a donation to the store, to Game Tower. Here's a, in the tip jar for Game Tower. There you go. Game Tower! This thing is so awesome because I wasn't expecting to get something like this and I was just expecting to put like another arcade machine but when he offered this to me I had no idea that it would fit like an absolute glove. I mean as you can see this spot it just slipped right in perfect. The TV works, all the lights work, the touchpad works. I was able to decorate it too on top with some of my favorite little knickknacks, random things, some stuff I just didn't have room for too. Oh, I forgot to make this clear. I have other game rooms. I have other places for my toys, my son's room, other rooms, an office and Cerritos, stuff everywhere. This is just my, this is this room. This is a specific game room, arcade room. But I got my Mario 64 camera. I got Mario figures, Zelda figures, another Nintendo 64 camera, a DuckTales launch pad, his airplane, I got assigned by the creator, the art designer of Rampage, a Rampage machine. I got Contra Pops, which I'm not that big into Pops, but it was a great gift from an awesome person. Mario and Luigi figures from the movie, Dick Tracy Wacky Wobblers. I even have these weird on top of the, the controller stands. I have the Rabbids. They make as much sense as Gabo does. I didn't have that. So people were wondering what I was gonna put in here. I haven't done anything really crazy in here yet, but I did put a Retrocade in here. If you've never played a Retrocade, they're really cool. Castlemania Games sent me this, by the way, a long time ago. Really cool dudes. Has a bunch of arcade games, some NES games. Everything runs smooth, perfect, really good to be honest. So you just see a game and go, oh, that looks dope. You press it and it goes. 
I love to have these on in the background. Arcades always scroll through a lot of gameplay really quick, so it's really nice to have this in the background always running. Oh, and also, I didn't say, some of my favorite VHS tapes. I got a lot of VHS, VHS tapes. These are some of my favorites, especially this one, not gonna lie. A sealed Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Another amazing gift, a prized VHS right here. Sealed, VHS, Nintendo. Moving right along to arcade one-ups, which I'm not as into them as I thought I would be, but I do like them. I do enjoy them. Let me make that very clear. I got a Pac-Man one here and a Rampage one here. The reason I got these two, as you'll see in a minute, I don't necessarily need more arcade playable games, but because I thought these are games that I love, don't get me wrong, but I really like the look and aesthetic of the cabinets as far as the color schemes go. I think it's a beautiful color scheme on both of the cabinets, the bright greens, the black mixed with it, and the Pac-Man one, in my opinion, is the best looking uh, arcade one-up color schemes with the red, the white, and the blue, the yellow, so poppy, so 80s. I absolutely love it. I got some Mario Rabbits figures that you guys may have seen on top of it. I got this Ryu that has been up here for a very long time. This Ryu is, was also sent to us from a fan. As you'll notice, a lot of things here were sent from fans. Uh, that's a lot of the stuff that we really appreciate the most, that we don't want to get rid of. The stuff that seems the most, like it holds the most weight for us because it's from you guys. And then, by the way, if you don't know, this plays Pac-Man, Pac-Man Plus, this Rampage Gauntlet, Joust, and Defender. But besides big items, I'd say probably the most important items, not just like, oh, the coolest, would be the signs. I'll show you the other one in a minute. This is the Sega Genesis light up sign. And the reason that this is so cool and means so much to me is Retro Liberty, if you follow the old show, Retro Liberty is probably my favorite thing I've ever done in my life. When Ricky and I did Retro Liberty as a show together, till the day I die, I always say that was one of my favorite things I've ever done in my entire life. Not saying that Pixel Game Squad isn't, but it's just that it was at a time when YouTube was a whole different ball game. It was a different world. It was no, everybody in the world was doing YouTube for passion and because they love stuff. So it just holds a special place. And these signs were in our old Retro Liberty game room, but they were just the flat signs with nothing else. They were just like taped on the wall, real ghetto. But Joe, who made the game room for me and helped me, he made these a light, made this a light up sign and he even used our old cameraman, this is weird, our old cameraman Chris, his dad was redoing his fences, Joe helped him, kept the wood, and used the wood from our old cameraman's fence to make the border around it. So it's pretty cool, pretty amazing, and one of my favorites. And on top of it, as you can see, a lot of random toys, just knickknacks, there's some troll figures, the mask, Sydney Hunter video game, Evil Dead, some Pac-Man Tommy ones, a Samurai Showdown VHS that I got, while game hunting with Metal Jesus, Retro City Rampage, Biker Mice from Mars, a whole bunch of goodies just to, you know, kind of add a little extra flavor to the sun. Alright, this next one... Okay, this is a shelf where I, again, just threw random stuff. A lot of times you need places to put stuff that you just acquire randomly, and that's what I've been doing. So, this shelf over here has some very cool stuff, though, as well. Super Mario cereals, if those, for a while, those were a thing that were actually, like, so dumb that people were charging extra money for them, but I was able to get some back then, so I kept them. I got a Darkwing Duck little bank that Ricky just gave me while he was cleaning out his game room. I really like that. Some Halo Master Chief fighting. There's a Ninja Turtles big old tin TV tray, which, which TV trays were a thing back in the day. They need to bring back TV trays. What, people still watch TV probably more than ever. TV trays for kids were big back in the day. You'd sit in your bed and plop it in your lap and do that. There's also a big Michelangelo DuckTales thermos, some Dick Tracy stuff. I got some other VHSs here that I like, some really cool ones as well, some of my more watched VHSs that I've watched in my life. And the biggest obvious thing, this is new for me. I absolutely love this. The other day, I was bored and I said, hey, I'm gonna just start coloring on a Nintendo console. I was like, it's not gonna look good. I got some colored pencils and I started doodling on this NES and I was very surprised at my drawing. I'll be honest, I was very proud of this drawing. I'm, I'm good at art 
but I'm not good at necessarily copying art. I didn't trace it by any means, but I'm, I normally do well if I draw my own thing, but to copy something, I'm like, that's ah, not gonna be that well. But this Millhouse is really cool. I absolutely love it. Millhouse is one of my favorites. Top two Simpsons characters of all time. Also this Nintendo. If you guys remember a while back, Ricky found a stolen Genesis from a police locker. This is a Nintendo that we found that was from police evidence from a locker as well. Really cool look on March 18th, 2009, evidence. It's an NES from the County of Los Angeles Sheriff's Department. So it makes it a little extra cool, a little extra story to tell with it, but this is one of my new favorite uh, decoration pieces that I have. Another little thing I picked up recently, surprisingly on Amazon for like 18 bucks, which is a good deal to me. This little hello sign, it's just bright and pink, so I wanted to add it into the room. Nothing special, but it is cool to have, and I was really surprised that Amazon had a, a sign like that that I thought would look cool in my retro room. But now, this is what I was saying between the Switch, cabinet, kiosk, and this. Two big items that are the coolest things I've ever had. This arcade was made for me by our buddy Sam. All right, so in the end, Sam, what's happening to this cab? It's gonna be new monitor, right? Artwork. Artwork, uh, color trim. Really? Color trim, changing color trim. Uh -huh. And uh, Ricky and I are gonna be doing a retro pie on it. Why you gotta, dude, it's cool. I know, I we mean, don't care. We'll be honest, we don't care. But people are different, right? Yeah, people right. in different communities, some people are super anti. But like I said, I'm not a giant like arcade purist. I love arcade games, but I'm not, like a purist where I need to have only the original boards running and stuff, so. And I did not know that I would be this into arcades and this into actually playing. This is my most played thing that I have. And I'm talking out of Nintendo, Super Nintendos, my Xboxes. This is where my gaming time has put me as of recent. And this thing, it, he, you know, he's put a Raspberry Pi in it. I don't know all the details, Raspberry Pi 4. I'm not sure what exactly it's running on. But I know the image he put on here is so good. This thing has the light up buttons. It's got the beautiful molding. It's got the huge speakers on the side, which sound amazing by the way, I'm not gonna turn up this second, with beautiful bezels, with this beautiful layout on the control panel that Sam made and lights that go underneath and it's just so big. We made a custom Capcom sticker that Sam and I designed together. I kinda just went to Photoshop, put some cool stickers on this Capcom thing. And I love if you look on the screen, the way all the games are displayed, this has pretty much every arcade game ever in existence, as you can see. I could scroll for 10 minutes without going through all this. I play so much in here. It is so sturdy, you know, when you play, and that's why I feel like I don't like arcade one-ups as much as I thought I would, as much as I do like them, because I have this right next to it, and I get to play this, and this is sturdy. When you play with your friends, you have so much room. They're right next to you, but they don't feel right next to you. You're not crammed next to each other, and, Recently on the NES Pursuit, I bought two bar stools for like 20 some bucks each, which is ridiculous if you can find anything out there like that because my wife and I were looking and they were like 80 bucks shipped each, was like the cheapest we could find. So to plop down here and just sit down, toss on a game, Super Contra, whatever it is, this is the best. I am telling everybody from all my experiences playing arcades, different styles, one of different barcades, everything, even though I don't drink. This is by far my most comfortable way I've ever played an arcade machine in my life. It's beautiful, it's comfy, it's cozy. Look how much room if your friend's playing they have. Look at that excess room. So this, best thing I got in here. Oh, and uh, by the way, up top, I put up a red light, as you can see up here. Always cool to throw up little figures, Street Fighter figures, alien figures, Sonic, some video games, Bucky O'Hare, some Stranger Things stuff. Just got a lot of things out there, again, to accent the arcades. I love throwing up stuff on top of existing items because it just adds so much more pop and flavor to it. All right, moving along, I got my hanging Mario Galaxy thing. It's funny because that's such a silly thing, but to me it's one of the cooler looking things in the room that a lot of people really love when they see and they kind of point it out and they'll go, dude, that's awesome. It's just Mario hanging on a fishing wire. Another cool few things that I have, which won't be staying here because today I have two things being installed on this game room that you won't see. They're actually getting installed today. And that's an air conditioning unit that we're gonna make a hole in this wall so you don't see it from outside of our house so it won't look ugly. A nice pretty flush mounted one and uh, a security system. So don't try anything because I'll shoot you. But I have these 
Lego little figures, Mario, Pac-Man, and more Pac-Man, the ghost, Blinky, Pinky, I don't know which ones it is. But Joe made those as well for me when he made the game room, so that's really cool. Also on this wall, I got a little Nintendo sign. Uh, also right here, I put a little hookup because we're getting into the, the part of the room where I am working from most of the day. Uh, I got some, some Sony headphones, some really nice ones by the way. These I hang up here and I can do my editing stuff on. I also got my ring light right here, which is if you're a creator of any kind. I used to be all about soft boxes. I know you need that for a certain type of lighting when you have extra people on the shots, but if it's just you, I'm telling you, get a ring light. This thing has saved my butt, it saved me with tons of room. Everything's easier, it's nice. I got a little Respawn record sticker on there, which is, by the way, a company, an awesome company who sent me cool things like this. Glover, original soundtrack. He sent me a Vector Man one as well, so he promised he's gonna send some more things and I'll show you guys in a different video some more stuff because I think it's some really cool stuff. All right, next we're getting into my work zone. I work from the field half of the day with my full-time, my amazing job that I'm very blessed to have, very thankful, and then half of the day I'm working from home like everyone else, so this is like my office area, but before I get to it, right above it, got a couple more things again. This Super Nintendo sign goes right along, same story with the Sega Genesis light up sign. It was on Retro Liberty. Really means a lot to me. Uh, I think they're actually Ricky's signs, but Ricky has given me that blessing of keeping them in here because they look great in here. Again, throwing things on top, it's like Mario chess pieces, some amiibos, stuff like that. Nothing really too amazing. This shelf right below it as well, nothing too amazing again. But I got, you know, the amiibo stand. I got different amiibos, some rabbits characters. I got some small soldiers toys. The Super Mario Dixie Cups, which I really do like. Oh, I lied. There's one really, really cool thing here. Probably my favorite setup for anything Nintendo. That is a custom made by an awesome, awesome fan, the Retro Beard, made as a wooden, a wooden Nintendo case with our logo on it. Really cool. And on top of that, a prize thing, the NES Pursuit NES video game, a real video game where you can play as Ricky and I. That he had something to give me. We go over and we got the gift of all gifts. What? Oh. Oh. And this is cool to me. I know John Riggs made it, I've talked about it in the past, but when I was a kid, if you would have told me, oh, there's gonna be a Nintendo game someday with you on it, and it's real, like, it's a real Nintendo game, you really put it in Nintendo, you really play it, I would have been like, there is, I would have probably cried as a kid, I mean, like, there's no way that would ever happen. So the fact that it's happened and this is real, is like, looking back, it's like an actual, actual, legitimate, like, dream come true. No doubt. Anybody who's a Nintendo fan growing up in their life would tell you the same thing. Here is my desk area. I got a big L-shaped desk. This is perfect for me. It has everything I need. I'm telling, I tell so many people, take a little extra time to set up your desk properly because it makes your workflow so much better. Even the atmosphere around it. Keep it clean, keep it nice, keep it organized. You're gonna actually enjoy sitting at a desk, working, having some video games playing in the background. I got a big 27 inch iMac. This thing is my preferred way to edit. I've always edited on Apple. I'm not saying I'm necessarily an Apple guy, I actually prefer Android phones, but I love my iMac. I have an eight terabyte hard drive, again, brought to you by you guys. A fan of the show said he's heard me talk about storage before. He gave us an eight terabyte hard drive, which is great and it has kept me going, kept me with plenty of space. Just got this, a 27 inch 4K monitor to go side by side with it. It has a little curve to it, makes it easy for me to kind of see in the corner. I got my microphone right here whenever I have to record any sort of audio, whether it's for Pixel Game Squad or anything else or any other type of work. This thing is all set up here, good to go. Giant, giant mouse pad is really helpful for me as well. That's something that I didn't know that I needed until I got it. Once I got it, I'm like, wow, this is really helpful for me. I have all my drawers down there, my desk space down there. Over here, something so simple. My mom, a while ago, found a Concrete Genie, which is a really cool video game, T-shirt. She found the T-shirt, and then when she was babysitting my son, Brixton, they made it into a frame that I could hang. This is an actual t-shirt that they folded, made it into something like that. Really cool, really special, really unique thing. Nobody has it because it was made by my mom. 
Also up here, super simple, Gabe, Ricky's son, gave me that little Smash Bros mural. Really cool of him to do that. This really cool arcade sign, again, Amazon, cheap on Amazon, really surprised. I know it has like that kind of cheap Chinese knockoff look, but when the lights are out in here, this room looks amazing. We're not filming this at night though right now, so I don't know if you're getting the full effect of it, but it's really cool, I promise. And last thing kind of in this corner is one of my, my mic stands. This is my little own makeshift boom stand where if you want to get the microphone closer to your face and not just use a shotgun mic like we're doing right now on top of the camera, you can put it right next to you if you're doing like a still shot and a little pop cutter right here. Now the last arcade cabinet in this room is the Street Fighter Arcade 1-Up. Of every arcade game in the world, what I've been told by arcade people that I talk to is Street Fighter is the biggest seller of uh, all this type of thing, especially when it comes to actual Street Fighter, you know, Z-Backs and stuff. Original from the day, I was talking to Sam, he's like, Street Fighter is the thing that everybody wants. So with that, I had to get a Street Fighter 1. Again, even though I have my giant cabinet with the best the best cabinet I've ever seen played anything in my life. I have them on a room, but I did have to get this because it's Street Fighter. This is when people come over and they don't necessarily care about me explaining to them that this does everything and this runs everything. Most people go, oh, you have an arcade? Cool, do you have Street Fighter? That's what they want to know. Do you have Street Fighter? They want to play Street Fighter. Got on top of it, little Ryu shooting a Hadouken in the corner just to kind of look cute, add a little accents. Don't necessarily keep it there when we're playing though because it kind of gets in the way, but look. Pretty cool. Also got a couple Street Fighter VHSs, again, that I don't keep up here when we're actually playing on here. It's just for decoration. And then lastly, up here, uh, definitely a random shelf. My Mario 3 walkie talkies are, I'd say, the only, like, prized possession in that place. There's a, Retro Rick's been asking me for those Mario walkie talkies for a while, so maybe I'll give them to him. I probably won't give them to him. Actually, maybe I will. We're debating actually hanging out and, like, me flying down to him. He said he might pay for it, so tell him to pay for it. And yeah, that's it. Otherwise, Stranger Things stuff up here, some random goodies because, uh, you know, ooh, I got my, my Contra Pop though from Mega Dan. I actually do like that a lot. All in all, this is the most proud I've ever been of having any sort of display, game room, toy setup, whatever you want to call it, office. I don't really know what you want to call this, but it is the most proud I've ever been. And I can't tell you as a collector, longtime collector, how much I have enjoyed this more than all my other setups. Again, I have other setups. I have other game rooms, game areas, toy rooms, toy areas where I have tons of stuff. But this is my favorite room of all those. Favorite place to be and hang out and be immersed. And I'll be honest, when people from the outside world who aren't into gaming or toys or nostalgia, this is the best reaction I've ever got from anybody out of all those rooms because when they go in here, they feel like they can hang out. They feel like they can relax and play everything and touch everything and kind of pull stuff off shelves. It's not necessarily a gallery, but it's just a nostalgia overload. It's like to me, a stunning place to be in my personal opinion. So thank you guys for watching it and enjoying it. And I, I just, I hope you, hope you liked it. People have been asking, so there it is. And thank my wife for holding the camera.